When Steve Gomer, our director, first started telling me about the Korean people, I thought he was saying Korean. I'd never heard of the Korean people. I'd heard of Burma and I'd heard of Myanmar. So I knew a little bit about the uh, genocide that was going on there and the civil wars that were going on. But that's, that's really all I knew. They burned our villages. And many dead, many gone. Um, girls crying over dead mothers, father over dead son. Many family lost or broken. Uh, they forced us into refugee camp, Thailand. Uh, we cannot leave. Uh, there is nothing for children to do, nothing for men to do. Just uh, wait. Wait. What we're dealing with in our story is refugees who came to this country, people who in many cases were born in refugee camps along the border of Thailand and Burma and had never seen their home country. And in the refugee camp, what sustained them was their faith. In my village, my grandpa is the first one to become Christian. And then my parents became the Anglican. And my mother and me, we are getting baptized at the same time together, yes. To describe Awen would take weeks, but I mean, uh, he is such an interesting, beautiful human being. What he does, what he's gone through. Learning about the Korean struggle has been the real uh, honor and, and enlightening because I just, I knew about Burma. I knew about a civil war. I didn't know it was raging for this long. And the more I learned, the more I read um, and heard from Ye Wen personally and from other members of his uh, old brigades, what they went through, it's heartbreaking. And for him to come out of that with such joy in his heart and to share that and to take care of his community, he is the linchpin to this entire community. What I know about Ye Wen is that when no one's watching, he is tirelessly working for his community. You know, trying to earn a living for his family, trying to get his community to church and to re realize how important the spirit, a spiritual life is for them, but also handling the physical needs of this community that didn't speak English. It's really interesting for me to say, having this refugee from, from Burma come here, I would say he is a real American hero. And I got to do uh, ride-alongs with him as he did his everyday tasks, which is a lot. And uh, the days I went with him, he was actually taking a break and they would still all day, would go from Department of Health Services over to courthouses, over to people's homes, dealing with everything from health insurance to car insurance. It's crazy uh, what he does in a day and that was a light day. Um, but it really gave me insight into what he goes through, what he does for the community, how important he is. If he has a sick day, I don't know what would happen. I don't think he takes sick days. It all started with hello. Meeting Ye Win was a blessing. On Sunday, uh, we came to the church, we knocked the door, and then Amy is so open the door. Hey, why are you uh, standing outside? Come out inside. She is warmly welcome to us. We met after an Easter service at All Saints in 2008. And it all came from just a simple greeting, just a simple hello. There is so much inspiration to be found in this story, uh, not just in Ye Win and what happened with the church and really what happened with this entire community coming together and saving each other, which is essentially what this film is about. And, um, and it's beautiful. Yeah, many dead, many gone, many family broken. But in church heart, we are one family through Jesus Christ.